First, to guess in the comments how many AI-generated voices I use in this video gets free hacks merch. We are headed toward a situation where artificial intelligence is vastly smarter than humans. So that time frame is less than five years from now. It just means that things get unstable. Or we're in June of 2020, Elon Musk said these words to the New York Post, and almost exactly two years later, a man by the name of Jason Allen posts a very proud photo of a first place award he received from a fine arts competition. Now, you have to admit, this is a very beautiful piece. But the catch is, this art piece was 100% AI generated. And when this hit the net, it set the internet on fire, sparking many debates about AI and fairness. But in reply to this, one particular conversation perfectly captures Elon's prediction coming to life. I'm surprised a working file with all the individual layers wasn't a mandatory requirement to be considered an eligible entry. I have never in my life heard a contest requiring a file. That just sounds... weird. <sighs> but is it weird? Is the world really now in a weird and unstable place due to AI breakthroughs like this quote suggests? Let's play a quick game. One of these is a real image of a real line and the other is AI generated. Post in the comments which one you think is fake, but before I reveal which is which, I almost lost my mind by how real both of them look when I first seen them. However, I have this friend who I say is in complete denial when it comes to this whole AI conversation, and so I jumped on a call with her and made her play this game. Surely, if this quote is true, then she'll be impressed by this. I'd say the one on the right is fake. On the right? Okay. Look, I gotta give it to you. You're a pro at having confidence in being wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the left is the fake one. Okay, I think that now that I know what I'm looking for, I can do it again. I can find it right. And pause. Oh yeah, that right there. The old, I'm not impressed because I now know what to look for. Good old cope in a can, baby. Now look, okay, just being real, it's kind of hard for me to agree with this quote when my friend Sabrina here just doesn't agree. If we can successfully change her mind, then I'm confident in saying that this quote actually might be true. So let's make it happen. Today, we're gonna make the greatest tool that you can send to any AI skeptic and completely wreck their confidence. Let's get started. Now, as much as I would love to code this game myself, it's 2022 and there is no way this game doesn't already exist. Or so I thought. I actually already tried to Google search for an AI image generated version of this game. That's it? We just get one example? No interactivity? I can't use this as a standard. Let's see if we search the app store. Nothing. Wow. But to my surprise, there were only articles and one very primitive game. That game was just way too easy. But thankfully, I have over 15 years of coding experience, so I guess that means that I have to step up and code a is it AI game with my own bare hands. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Okay, so where do we begin? Now, I can relate to my friend's confidence being a skeptic because I, I fell victim to this not too long ago as well. There was this fake or cake meme that was really popular in 2020. And every time that I guessed if a fake cake was real, I always hit that classic, oh man. I knew it. I was gonna say it was fake every time. And I, and I never felt impressed despite being wrong like almost all the time. But it wasn't until I watched Netflix show Is It Cake where they put one fake cake amongst a bunch of real items. That is when I had my confidence completely obliterated. And honestly, I, I think this is what we need. I think we just need a game like this but for AI images. So my first order of business is just to collect a bunch of really convincing AI images. I started off by downloading a ton, and I mean a ton, of AI generated images from all over the net. But then I realized that I need some sort of direction instead of just throwing a bunch of random images together. So I thought of categorizing this game into three categories, photography, animals, and probably the hardest one, art. I then grabbed a bunch of real images for these three categories, put them together in their respective folders, and damn, I'm already having a hard time deciphering which ones are the fakes, and I'm the one who chose the images. Next, I began to build the game. I I chose to make it a website so that nearly anyone can play this without many issues. And I did this by grabbing a free website template and modifying it one line at a time. And then after a few hours of jamming, I had a functional game working. Now I just need to find a victim so we can test this. <laughs> Alright girlfriend, so I brought you here because I made this game, right? And I need a test subject. I'm going to show you a bunch of images. Some are real, some are generated by AI. And you have to try and guess over 75% which ones are fake. Go. Oh. 
No. Look at that weird mouth. And look at that eye. That's not our natural eye. This cat, the third eyelid looks a little bit weird there. This one looks like it could be. It also looks like it could not be. This looks like a tortoise. I'm gonna say this one. Damn. I almost got 100%. Oh, wow. Damn. Friends, we have a serious problem. So I had my girlfriend test this game and she did really, really well. Much better than I was expecting her to do. And this has me nervous because now I'm starting to think that my game may not be good enough. And if we give it off to my friend, she actually might destroy it. But as I'm sure you agree, <laughs> we cannot allow this to happen. This is my hotline, 1-800-CONVERT-A-SKEPTIC and the caller fees are non-refundable. So to make this game harder, I think it's time to bust out the big guns. I think it's finally time to take the AI image generation into my own hands. Now there's an open source AI model called Stable Diffusion that I downloaded and I use this amazing Puget system systems PC with the twin Titan RTX GPUs. Yes, that was a flex. And I just told it to generate thousands of AI generated animals, photography, and art overnight. And now the game has almost a thousand photos with some of the most difficult AI generated images I could generate. I even deleted some dead giveaway images from the database like this image right here. <laughs> No more freebies. There is no way that Sabrina can beat our AI now. Who's ready to put our baby to the test? All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna do a quick little test just to make sure everything's... Whoa, what the... Welcome to being a coder. Your code is now broken. Yeah, help me. Give me some help. Hey, <laughs> yo, what the... F hey, everyone. I just ran into a very fun issue. So after I updated my database from 200 pictures to almost a thousand, things just got weird. And now some images half load, some images don't load at all. And in this case, up to four images don't load at all. How fun, but you don't have to worry about me. I'm not hurting. I chose to sign up for this life full of aneurysm. No, 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 but for real, web dev is what God used to build hell. Okay, just please keep me in your thoughts because I have no idea how long it's gonna take, but I'm going to be smiling the entire time because I love coding. This is the face of a man who's about to see some shit. Thankfully, it's all fixed now. But what happened? Well, the non-boring explanation for this is that I have to store these images on a web host. But the web host I was using is like an old 2001 Ford Mustang. Sometimes it overheats, other times it has battery drain issues. Look, the point is, my web host was having a lot of trouble getting images from point A to point B. And so basically, I traded in this DOA for a reliable Toyota Corolla, brand new off the lot. What do I mean by this? Well, I hit up our old friends over at Linode.com for some server help because I know they wouldn't let us down. This video is sponsored by Linode. Are you a developer in need of a reliable and easy to use cloud service provider? Well, I think Linode Cloud Computing from Akamai is your solution. Linode provides powerful cloud services with their user-friendly UI and very easy to use platform to run your own server. Whether it be a game server, a powerful GPU server to run machine learning projects, or just a reason to experiment and learn about servers, Linode can help your ideas come to life on the net, along with hundreds of guides and tutorials to get you started. Linode also doesn't believe in hidden fees and surprises on your bill. Their pricing is very straightforward, so you know exactly what you're paying for. So sign up today at linode.com hacks and get a $100 60-day credit on your new Linode account. Link is in the description. And now there is no more BS. Everything works perfectly and there are no more bugs. And so finally, without further ado, with the power of AI and anime on our side, let's challenge our buddy Sabrina to our Is It AI game. Hello, are you here to ruin my day? My hope for humanity? How, how does it feel to have the entire weight of the AI versus human debate on your shoulders right now, Sabrina? It feels good. <laughs> I feel like I'm a worthy champion for the cause. Cool, okay, are you ready to get into it? First one is art, good luck, all right? Okay, real quick, there are three categories and two rounds in each, and she needs to get over 75% in all three to be dubbed the destroyer of AI. Let's see how she does. Okay, here's the thing, like a lot of AI art, people are like, oh, that's art. And I'm like, oh no, that's a visual. This one. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look real close at the irises. That's a thing that in a lot of like AI images, the details, mm. they become murky. These irises and pupils, 
somebody who is drawing this can draw a better circle than that. You know what I mean? Interesting. And also like the lines of the pencil shading. Like if you told me that somebody uploaded an image to Photoshop, manipulated it to look like this, I'd say, yeah, that tracks. But if this is supposed to be just like a charcoal sketch, looks AI to me. Interesting, okay, okay. Submit. Oh my God! Eat it! She ended up getting 100% in art round one and only missed the Van Gogh fake out in round two, which I must say was very impressive. But let's see how she does in photography. At first glance, all of these looks real. All look real to me. <laughs> We've got toy Kermit on a T-Rex. Seems legit. Like the fact that the eyes kind of seem like that seems right all of these little details seem right the kermit one is ludicrous this mm. seems like a somebody wrote down kermit in jurassic park and hit enter all right i've just gotta spoil this one she actually guessed this one correct but what boggles my mind is the ludicrous nature of this image that she described is exactly why i added it to the database but she was able to reason her way out of my trick Kudos. But a few things that are making me think that this is real is like the cohesiveness of Hermit's outfit and the fact that his little green hands and little green feet are where they are. I'm gonna say that's real photography. Submit. Oh my God. Oh my God. She once again got 100% right with photography in round one and then got half right in round two due to fruit being very difficult to classify, I guess. But lastly, we've got animals. This squirrel in an outfit. It seems right. Like it has different numbers of toes from what I'm seeing. One, two, three versus maybe four over here. And it's also doing fisticuffs. But this could also just be like a dead squirrel that somebody has taxidermied. The way fabric strape are like, it's again, something that like physics would define and not something that is generated pixel by pixel right. would necessarily always be able to consistently capture. But like these make sense for something like for a piece of fabric that's tied around a squirrel. So sure, let's say that's real. All right, it's submitting time. Let's see. No! Oh. You got two, got two fake, fake outs. Got two. She ended up getting two wrong in round one and two wrong in round two. Not bad. But before we see the results, let's press her a bit about the comment she made about AI not being able to generate wrinkles. I think it's difficult to get it done consistently, but like, I think I was immediately sold on how taut it seems over here. But then I figured like, I don't know what the fabric is. Like I, it looks like it could be like Christmas wrapping paper for all Interesting. Right now. I think the thing that really got me about these two images was just a lack of any context. This squirrel, definitely I wasn't like, that's a living squirrel. I figured it was a dead squirrel. Interesting. So I don't, maybe it looks jacked up because it's taxidermied. This could be real and all of the things that I have that are wrong with it are just like the nature of a thing that I don't understand. You know, Sabrina has a good point here. She did really well on art because she has a bit of a background in art. She didn't do so well on animals because she doesn't know enough about everything surrounding animal anatomy. But different people with different expertise might perform differently. Now, are you ready to see how she did? She absolutely crushed art with 97%, barely passed photography with 75%, and animals, she got 67%, meaning our AI is king. But you wanna know what's funny? She was actually one off from getting 75% on animals. It all came down to a fumble she made with this sloth image. I want this sloth to be real, but I think it's fake. But it could be real. Like, if you were a conservatory, you would take this photo of a sloth. <laughs> Submit. Oh! No, I was... <laughs> but impressively, she got close enough. And for that, I give her an honorary tip of the beanie. So, is AI vastly smarter than humans? No. I mean, let's be real. Until we see Terminators walking around, that's a pretty dumb claim, right? But I will say things are definitely weird now. I think AI is getting to that point where it's getting good enough to fool a good amount of people. And I think my buddy Sabrina put it best. If we put this stuff out in the wild where I'm not being told right off the bat, like some of these right. are AI image generated and I'm not being challenged and putting my ego and name on the line to correctly <laughs> identify them, I wouldn't catch them in the wild, almost definitely. I'd just be like, oh, okay. Fair enough. I'd move on. This game is now publicly available on susai.io. I want you all to go play the game, have some fun, but also try and get an above 70% average in all three categories because I'm collecting data on the back end so I can see the global average score and also what images trip people up the most. So I encourage you to do your best. If you want to help support your boy, go spin up a free Linode server. Just play around and have some fun with it. I was building a little fun little MMO game. Got to play with some cool folks from the community, learned a lot about servers. It was a good time. You can also support by buying some fire 
Fire Hex merch. And also follow me on social media to try and help me get these numbers up. Alright, till next time, I'm off to go throw my chow egg into a 